I had a, a big struggle with respecting authority and um, with respecting myself. When I first came to Florence Crittenton, I was very close-minded. I didn't want to be here. I had never been in a group home environment and I just, I didn't know what to do. For like the first week, I was like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this, I'm gonna leave. My therapist has definitely helped me. She gave me this sheet about um, all types of like abuse and stuff. And I went over and I highlighted everything that I had been through. Some of these girls have been subjected to abuse, neglect, and many of them, by the time they come to us, they've received a lot of devastating messages about who they can become. Hope goes a long way. And once you instill hope and give them some safety and opportunity, the girls excel. I think we're successful because of our partnership, but there's nothing we could do for this community without our supporters. In fact, the funding that we receive will not meet all the needs that these girls have. We really rely on fundraising and supporters. Every day are teachable moments between us and these girls. We're teaching them about their greatest gift, that each of them have a unique talent and an opportunity to rewrite their story. Basically, we're all leaders. And we've all taken control and we've all stepped up our game. Emily deserves our help. Bianca deserves our help. All the girls we serve deserve our help.